Good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday, January 11th. It is very cold outside today. And so today we're going to talk about hibernation. And hibernation is what animals do in the winter so that they can stay out of the cold and when there is not enough food for them to eat. So the books we're going to be reading today is Bear Snores On, Hibernation Station, and Over and Under the Snow. So this morning, we are going to start with Bear Snores On. In a cave in the woods, in his deep dark lair, through the long cold winter, sleeps a great brown bear. Cuddled in a heap, with his eyes shut, shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold wind howl, and the night sounds growl, but bear snores. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat, tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores off. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. Oh, mouse, says the hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mouse sips, we slurps, hare burps, big burps, but bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniffs snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums. Perhaps we can share. I brought honey nuts, Badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. They nibble and they munch with a chew, chomp, crunch. But Bear snores on. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter down through the door. Mole mutters, what a night, what a storm, twitters wren. And everybody clutters in the great bear's den. They tweet and they twitter, they chat and they chitter, but bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through a party in his very own lair. Hare stokes the fire, mouse seasons stew, and then a small pepper flick makes the bear achoo! He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. And bear wakes up. Bear snarls and he gnarls. Bear roars and he rumbles. Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls. And he grumbles. You snuck in my lair. You've had all f fun. But me, I was sleeping and I've had none. And he whimpers and he moans and he wails and he groans. And Bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss, look see. We can pop more corn. We can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles, he sighs with delight. Then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, bear can't sleep, but his friends snore on. So a bear is just one animal that hibernates. There are a number of other animals that you know that you might see in your own backyards that hibernate too. And I have a little song about those. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's great big bears. 
Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's little groundhogs. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's slithering snakes. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's hoppy toads. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's little chipmunks. Do you know who hibernates, who hibernates, who hibernates? Do you know who hibernates? It's slow turtles. So those are just some of the animals that hibernate. Now this is a story called Over and Under the Snow. And it is about where you may find different animals in the winter. Over and Under the Snow is by Kate Messner. Over the snow I glide into the woods, frosted fresh and white. Over the snow a flash of fur, a red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, says Dad. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them now. Over the snow I glide, past beech trees rattling leftover leaves and strong silent pines that stretch to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice. It follows a cool tunnel along the moss, out of sight. Look, says Dad, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints puncture through the crust, up the hill under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells a story of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They huddle up, cuddle up against this cold in a nest of feathers and fur. Do you see them? There they are. Over the snow I climb, digging in my edges so I don't slide down. Under the snow, voles scratch through slippery tunnels, searching for morsels of summer feasts. Over the snow I swoosh, down, down, faster, faster, down, faster, faster, whoops. Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from the shelter of a spruce. Almost invisible, she smooths her fur a coat of winter white. Over the snow I glide, past reeds where tadpoles play tag in the springtime. Under the snow, fat bullfrogs snooze. They dream of warm, sun-warmed days, back when they had tails. Over the snow I stand and stare, little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark, settle in for supper. Can they hear my rumbling too? Over the snow, stop, a sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till bushy-tailed fox steps from a thicket, tips his ears to the ground, listens, listens, listens still, and leaps out of the snow after an invisible dinner. His paws scratch away to find the mouse he heard scritch, scritch, scratching along underneath, under the snow. Over the snow I glide. A full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow, a chipmunk wakes for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway. His house under my feet. Over the snow I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises, warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dogs, sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow, a black bear snores, still full of October blueberries and trout. 
Over the snow, the fire crackles and sparks shoot up to the sky. I lick sticky marshmallows from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flames. Under the snow, a queen bumblebee drowses away to December, all alone. She'll rule a new colony in the spring. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs. Clouds whisper down feathery soft flakes. Under the covers, I snuggle deep and drift into dreams. Of cuddling deer mice and slumbering frogs, hungry beavers and tunneling voles, drowsy bears and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow. Could you imagine sleeping under the snow and that's where you would keep warm? Lots of animals sleep in different places. Some sleep under the snow, some sleep in caves, some even make homes in your birdhouses. So I have a song about where different animals choose to hibernate. Are you sleeping, are you sleeping, big black bear, big black bear? Time for hibernation. What is your location in a log in a lair? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Hanging bat, hanging bat. Time for hibernation. What is your location in a caves where I'm at? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Garter snake, garter snake. Time for hibernation. What is your location in the mud in a lake? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Toad and frog, toad and frog. Time for hibernation. What is your location in a pond near a log? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Meadow mouse, meadow mouse. Time for hibernation. What is your location in a field near a house? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Turtle friend, turtle friend. Time for hibernation. What is your location in a stream till winter's end? So as you get outside, you may be walking over different animals asleep. Or if you walk, you go ice skating. You may be ice skating over some to toads or frogs that are curled down in the mud. So that's kind of exciting, and maybe you can think about that next time you're outside. So our final story for today is called Hibernation Station. This one is by Michelle Meadows. Fuzzy slippers, warm pajamas forest babies and their mamas. Show up early at the station. Time for winter hibernation. Bats and chipmunks in the middle. Bears and mice from big to little. Groundhogs, turtles, snakes and frogs slipping into holes and logs. Fluff the pillows, snuggle in, but then commotion in a den. I cannot sleep, a black bear roars. My roommate rolls around and snores. The groundhog cries, this hole's too tight. It's dark in here. I need more light. Then, uh-oh, trouble near the stream. The hedgehog babies start to scream. Just when the beds begin to sink, Two chipmunks cry, we spilled a drink. And while you're up, we need more snacks and bring more pillows for our backs. Just then a frog begins to moan. I'm scared to be here all alone. The bears in charge in railroad caps review the hibernation maps. Come on, black bear, bring your shoes. Here's a quiet place to snooze. Come on, hedgehogs, warm and dry. Let's huddle for a lullaby. Come on, chipmunks, sip, sip, sip. Nibble, nibble, drip, drip, drip. 
Blankets, pillows, extra snug. Come on, frog. You need a hug. Climb on top and join the heap. Soon everyone is fast asleep. Could you imagine having those many creatures in bed together? That would be wild. But you could make your own hibernation station by using some blankets and pillows and make a little pillow fort. And you could pretend to be a bear or a chipmunk. And I think that would be lots and lots of fun. Also today for crafts, we have waiting for you on the porch, your own little puppets that you guys can make. And there are instructions on the porch and we would love to see what you do and we'd love to hear about what kind of a great puppet show you come up with. Also, you can make your own sleeping bears in their own cave covered in snow. And now th these projects are waiting for you right downstairs on our Gale Library porch. And that is all for today, guys. So I'm going to say goodbye with a little song. So long now. Till next time. See you later, alligator and a wild crocodile. Have a good day. Bye-bye.